What I love about my new apartment is the brightness. It's amazing. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome for this video. So you guys were a lot to tell me, oh, you should react to geography now. This guy does like a lot of great stuff. And I thought, let's do that, but about the US states. Uh, and so he did a video, it was in 2017, so I don't think, uh, you know, it changes a lot of other years. I mean, like just like four years. And I guess I could learn a lot uh, during those 13 minutes. So let's do that. Hey Jugger peeps, so this is a little video that I kind of wanted to make for a while but never really had time until now. So of course the majority of Geography Now subscribers are from, you know, my home country, the US. However, we do have a very, very noticeable and sizable community of subscribers outside of the US. And some of you have expressed, you know, a little curiosity as to how each of the 50 states, you know, kind of function or what they're like. Each state does kind of have their own unique individual qualities and I'm going to try my best to explain each and every single one of them to you right now. Alabama, where both white people and black people are poor but they party equally hard roll tide no but seriously alabama is kind of like where the confederacy started so uh yeah civil war alaska yeah. america's refrigerator seriously this is like where we <laughs> stockpile up all our resources that we won't tap into until things get really messed up it's the largest and coldest state you can find polar bears and the native you pick people arizona the grand canyon state this is kind of like the king desert state of the u.s arizona is also okay. home to the largest indian reservation navajo nation arkansas basically just read the book Where the Red Fern Grows, it basically just gives you the gist of what Arkansas is like. And the people here love dogs. They have like the highest dog ownership out of any state in the country. California, my home state. Oh. Ah, so let me just put it like this. If California somehow, for some reason, seceded from the US, it would still be like the world's seventh most powerful economic superpower. So obviously California holds a high position of geopolitical influence in our country. Nonetheless, California is still heavily dependent on the US government. We're the home of the entertainment capital of the world. Three of the largest tech companies in the world are in Silicon Valley. Crazy diversity and everything you need packed into one place, California. Colorado, Whoa. our healthiest <laughs> state, which has the lowest levels of obesity. This is probably because people go outdoors and get, you know, fresh air and enjoy those mountains. Just uh, be careful if someone offers you a chocolate truffle or a brownie. They are really enjoying those new cannabis laws. Connecticut is like the gentler, uh. cleaner suburbs that people move to when they are sick and tired of New York. Delaware, <laughs> the first state to become a state. And that's like literally all they got going for them. I think they have like a cardboard box factory. Florida, America's swampy playground. Seriously, like none of the houses here have basements because if you just dig down a little bit, you'll hit water. Orlando was originally built because not enough Americans could travel all the way to California to visit Disneyland, so they built Disney World. They made it bigger, and then like 8,745 uh, other theme parks opened up. Georgia, the peach oh, wow. state. Home to Coca-Cola and the busiest airport in the US. Boiled peanuts wow. and Little Miss Beauty pageants. Yeah, some places do that in America. Hawaii, the last state to become a state. Before we made Hawaii into a state, it was actually its own country. Country. Like it was a Polynesian country. They had their own okay. monarchy and everything. Liliuokalani was the last queen. It's pretty cool. Otherwise, you know the rest: hula surfing, pineapples, luau's, yada yada yada. Idaho. <laughs> the only fact that most Americans know about Idaho is that they grow the most potatoes out of any other state. I mean, apparently yeah. they have some cool secluded spots like hot springs and gorges. Otherwise, I feel like the people in Idaho are probably hiding a lot of dark secrets that we don't know about. Illinois. Ah, the land of Lincoln. Even though Lincoln was born in Kentucky. Now, I actually grew up a large portion of my childhood in this state and. A lot of people know this place by another name, Chicago. Seriously, like half oh. the time people don't even know what state Chicago is in. And historically, it was known as like the slaughterhouse of America, partially because all the cows from Texas were brought up here to be slaughtered and also because eh, there was kind of like a little bit of a mafia past. Indiana <laughs> is like Illinois' annoying little brother who took the town of Gary away from Chicago and then they get to claim that they have the birthplace of Michael Jackson. No, but seriously, like the only interesting thing from here is like the Indy 500 car race. Otherwise, John Whoa. Green is from here. Iowa. Iowa is like the state that was so flat and so dull that they had to find creative ways to entertain themselves. Oh, and they're known for being really good at wrestling. Kansas is the heart of the Midwest, famous for Dorothy from Wizard of Oz, and this is literally the flattest state in our entire country. Ah, Kentucky, you with your baseball bats and bourbon and KFC and horse derbies. It's also home to Fort Knox where we hide all our gold. Louisiana. <laughs> ah, now y'all coming down here, y'all gonna see that you gonna get the real couture cajon. Vous comprenez mon ami? Louisiana is one of the only few states left in the U.S. that has concentrated francophone 
communities that speak mm -hmm. French, kind of. Known for the bayou and a diet high in crawfish and crabs, reptiles, and other swamp creatures. This place is uh. unlike anywhere else in the US. Maine, the lobster state. This is like where all the tough Atlantic sailors come and live and have houses on foggy cliffs with lighthouses. Maryland. Maryland is like home to the Whoa. richest, most well-educated black people in our country. It's also home to Olympic gold medalist Michael Phelps. They also love crab. Crab cakes, baked crab, boiled crab. You cook it, they eat it. Massachusetts <laughs> is like the library of America and it has our best university, indisputably in the world, Harvard. However, there's like three different types of people from Massachusetts. There's the uppity, the gritty, and the intellectual gritty. They all believe they are better than the other two. Michigan! <laughs> I am so sorry. You were doing so well in the early 20th century. You're like one of the richest states, but then you kind of filed the largest municipal bankruptcy case in US history. Minnesota, oh. I was actually born there. Minnesota is kind of like oh. the Finland of America. Plus there's also like an actual lot of Finnish people and other Nordic people that live there as well. The land of oh. 10,000 lakes. And if I must say, they have some of the most attractive people in our country. It's just, uh, they have kind of funny accents. Hey kids, <laughs> let's go grab our bags and read the magazines. Yeah, I grew up with that accent. Mississippi. This is like probably America's truest, deepest, southern, southern, y'all put some butter on my grits state. Speaking of butter, yes, they are the fattest state. Just, oh. they are. They love their churches, pecans, or pecans. And tons of famous people like Oprah and Elvis were born here. Missouri, America's oh. gateway to the Midwest. Missouri is kind of like Kentucky's fraternal twin that also got mixed up in the Civil War and was kind of acting like a buffer zone. Today they are known for their Kansas City barbecue. Yeah, the largest part of Kansas City is actually in Missouri, not in Kansas. Las Vegas for old people. And people who probably collect those tacky figurines and put them in their china cabinets. Sorry, Missouri, <laughs> just that's the image that conjures up in my head when I think of you. Montana, America's big, empty mountain mountainous, may as well just make the whole thing an Indian reservation state. I mean, seriously, you got the Blackfoot, the Flathead, the Crow, the Cheyenne, Nebraska, corn and steak. That's literally like their only attraction. Oh, and Warren <laughs> Buffett, the second richest man in America lives here. Nevada is like California's drunk girlfriend. Las Vegas alone is like 80% of what keeps the state alive. Oh, and we bury all of our nuclear waste somewhere in there too. Rock on Nevada. <laughs> New Hampshire is kind of like a small autumn wonderland with beautiful foliage and wooden covered bridges home to Dartmouth, the smallest Ivy League university. New Jersey, pretty rich and very angry. Like they don't even try to brush off the stereotype. They just own it. They either go crazy on the dance floor or crazy on each other. New Mexico is like Arizona's little brother that had to live in his shadow his whole life, but then Breaking Bad happened and now he came out with like six pack abs and a sleek new look. And uh, Roswell is supposedly where aliens landed. New York is kind of like where so much of American history got its roots. Most Caucasian Americans that have ties to immigrants from the 1800s can trace their ancestors back to Ellis island where most Europeans came in. Home to our largest city by population, New York. Proud people with big attitudes and they never sleep. Seriously, like this whole place never stops moving. North Carolina, the first in-flight state in which the Wright brothers flew the first powered aircraft in 1903. Otherwise, Coca-Cola's arch nemesis, Pepsi, was born here. North Dakota, congratulations. Now everybody's paying attention to you because of that whole Standing Rock Reservation, Dakota Access Pipeline controversy drama thing. In addition to a high concentration of Native Americans, there's also a lot of Norwegians that live here, many of which still speak Norwegian at home. Ohio is like the most plain Jane typical American experience state with corn dogs and fireflies in the summer with fireworks and carnivals. Wow. They also have the largest Amish population out of any other state. Then election time comes up and everything becomes a bloodbath. Oklahoma, uh. America's tornado state. Now pretty much all of the Midwest gets tornadoes, however Oklahoma, dang, you get hit hard. Oregon, it started out as like the frontier logging and lumber state with burly men with axes and chainsaws. But then one day the hippies realized they couldn't afford living in San Francisco anymore. So they all just kind of moved up north. Now Oregon is like this weird lumberjack, vegan, hipster, hybrid freak show with good donuts. Pennsylvania, <laughs> America's history state. We should have had our capital over here. And technically at one point, our Congress did actually meet in Philadelphia. If you want a real American history story, come here. Rhode Island, our smallest state. And it's not even an island, it's not even a peninsula. The heck, Rhode Island? Anyway, they were one of the original 13 colonies, and other than that, they really don't have much else going for them. I mean, they're home to the fictional city of Quahog in the show Family Guy, but that's about it. South Carolina. These people love their tobacco, fudge, walnuts, and it's home to the largest portion of the Gullah community. They speak their own Creole mixed with African influences, and they hold their own communal festivals and celebrations. South Dakota, nice. the other Dakota. Home to Mount Rushmore, America's most iconic presidential landmark. They're also working on the largest sculpture in the world, the 
Crazy Horse Monument. Otherwise, like North Dakota, they also have a sizable Native American community, mostly part of the Sioux Nation. Tennessee is kind of like the girl down the block that Texas has a little crush on. The capital of the Appalachians, mountain folk, bluegrass. Country music artists all come here in hopes of making record deals. Now everybody knows about Texas. Texas was at one point even its own country, and in Texas, everything is bigger. Football or American football is basically a religion. Barbecue and barbecue sauce are each separate food groups. Cattle ranches are everywhere. And contrary to popular belief, most Texans don't really mind Mexicans or Mexican culture as so many already live in their state that they've actually kind of developed this new Tex-Mex culture that fuses both of them. Utah, basically everybody kind of knows this place as being like America's Mormon state. Salt Lake City is like the headquarters of the Mormon church and over half of the entire state's population is registered with them. Otherwise they have great skiing, the Sundance Festival comes here all the time and they have great eroded rock formations like my favorite site in all of America, Monument Valley. Vermont is kind of like New Hampshire's smaller twin brother that makes a lot more maple syrup. Otherwise the only other thing that they got going for them is Ben and Jerry's. Like seriously, if that company goes bankrupt, they will become the next Michigan. Virginia is kind of like where everything started with the US. Essentially the British came in, they tried to start a little small town and then the whole Pocahontas thing happened and then Disney made everything incredibly accurate. It holds so much history. So Virginia and Pennsylvania, those are like the two history states. Washington, the evergreen state. Basically imagine the exact same scenario with Oregon except replace hippies with computer nerds. Bam, Microsoft, Amazon, Expedia, Starbucks, Boeing, they're all born. Oh, and a volcano hey. erupted in the 80s and it's like really easy to catch flounder in their waters. West Virginia is like the southernmost like state that was actually part of the union during the Civil War. It was like, nope, Virginia, I'm leaving you. They are also the oldest state. The average age is about 40 and we get a lot of coal hey. from here. Wisconsin, hey. America's dairy land. Now, my hey. personal belief is that everybody needs to have at least one friend from Wisconsin. I personally do. My friend Bill, he's actually the one who made the theme song for Geography Now. Wisconsin people are like the easiest to get along with. They have the best stories. They're also like home to the country's most attractive chubby people. They don't care. They own it and they flaunt it. Wyoming, home to our country's most noticeable national park, Yellowstone. Beautiful place, waterfalls, shooting geysers, hot oh. springs. They have tons of <gasps> buffalo and it's kind of like the training grounds for actual cowboys. And here's a little Ooh. bonus, Washington DC, our capital. Although it has a population higher than two states, it's not a state, it's a federal district. The president lives here sometimes, Congress assembles, mostly. All the museums in the Smithsonian are free, but the hot dogs are crazy expensive. There's statues, monuments, and everywhere you are being watched. Security <sighs> cameras are everywhere, so have fun just not too much fun. Oh yeah, and we also have those territories like Puerto Rico, Guam, Marianas, and Virgin Islands, but we'll talk about those later. Wow, that guy is awesome. He is, he has a way of explaining things that makes it funny and you look like you're, you're interesting to, to it, you know, even though you, you, you don't understand everything. It's like, it's, it's funny, so you're gonna listen to him. I don't know if I'm expressing myself well here, but okay, so it was a ton of information uh but like it, it was pretty fast i think he talks fast because it's a lot of information and he didn't want the video to be too long or maybe he talks fast usually i don't know but i i'm gonna have to rewatch it a few times or like slower maybe i was actually the playback speed was no it was normal okay but he talks pretty fast from what i remember a lot of mixed cultures a lot of food and a lot of powers like powerful thing like history companies yeah just the word power is in my mind i don't know why but no he doesn't say so i don't know what he is what is his name but shout out to you uh, like uh, well amazing i don't know how long he, he, you needed to prepare this video but wow uh so you guys i don't know if you watched it but i feel like watching the likes and dislikes and the number of views that i think that video is that video really um uh, you know really worked well for a lot of people and it's pretty interesting for me as a french person to watch it because well you know the states it's you know it's it's, it's a big country and a lot of different like cultures a lot of different things in one place somehow um so yeah sometimes you can uh I, I do feel lost sometimes when people say you know this in that place i'm like in the states <laughs> because there's just too many things and also it's kind of great to watch a video that sum up a lot of things uh in just 30 minutes if you have other videos that you guys personally like about geography now and that you think i could enjoy please uh, leave it in the comments i would like to check them out because 
Like, yeah, it's kind of funny. I love the way he he just teaches about things. So teaches us about things in general. When was his last video? Oh, a day ago. So he's still really like really here. He did Switzerland three days ago. That's pretty cool. That's all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. What did you think about it? What do you remember the most about this 30 minute long video? Personally, I think it's the hot dogs that are from Washington. Like they looked so yummy and I think that I'm really hungry. So this is probably what the thing, you know, the thing that I remember the most right now. Uh, yeah, tell me in the comments. What do you think you remember the most about this video? Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon for another video. Bye.